Hello, Calaveras County. Welcome to another episode of Mondo Calaveras. I'm your host, Mike Taylor. Now, my guest this time around, ladies and gentlemen, is working hard to keep us entertained in the very best sort of way, if you ask me, and that's with live theater. It's, in my opinion, there's nothing better than the exchange of energy between a performer and an audience. And at Murphy's Creek Theater, we have artistic director Rob Smittle to thank for yes, what's going indeed. on now yes, at MCT. Indeed. Indeed. Thanks for being here, Rob. You're very welcome. You used my old name. That was wonderful. I actually. did? Yeah. Which I old name? It. Rob Smittle. That was, that's my real name. Oh, okay. And then I'm my stage sorry. name, I changed it to Robbie Allen. Robbie yeah, Allen. I had okay. to change it down in Los Angeles. Oh, for, okay. Now, for so purposes. are you back to Smittle up here? Or you know, are you I Rob thought, Allen? I or? thought about <laughs> changing it back because <laughs> yeah. people didn't know who Robbie Allen was when oh, I came back up here. But I had to funny story I guess is is I casting directors down in Los Angeles didn't like my last name didn't like Smittle I didn't like Smittle oh, well, okay. I, yeah, mm -hmm. whatever okay. so I used my middle name for I used Robbie Allen as I my see. It's fun. I haven't heard that name in a oh, while too, actually how part fun is sorry that? and part no, it's uh, congratulations. No, it's wonderful. It's good to actually people might know yeah. who I am. Yeah, finally. people will remember you. <laughs> yeah. and, and and I'll just remind you folks Stage three theater over in Sonora, lots of starring roles. Uh, Hamlet. Hamlet. Um, yeah. Gosh, I've. Uh, Crucible. Crucible. Yeah, Crucible. Yeah, yeah. Crucible. yeah. Name a great play over there, and Rob was part <laughs> of it. But now you're here in Calaveras, mm -hmm. and you're artistic director for Murphy's Creek Theater. And I just learned a couple of weeks ago that you guys have actually kind of fully changed the name of the theater and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's not the Black Bart Playhouse anymore. No. It's. No. MCT it's, Murphy's it's Creek it's Theater. MCT Murphy's Creek Theater. All right, so, cool. Yeah. Now, what do you have kind of play? Actually, let's back up a little mm -hmm. bit. The theater needed some work. Yes, it did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yes, it and did. the end of last year saw a lot of that work get done, didn't yes. it? Yes, yes, what yes. What did you guys get to accomplish? We were fortunate enough to get grants from the Winter Creek Foundation and oh, Calabarese right. Community Foundation. Um, Pretty substantial amount to redo the lighting and sound equipment, Super. and, and re, um, we tore down the old proscenium in the place. We made yeah. it we made it ten feet taller and ten feet wider. Wow! Uh, so it feels more like an actual a stage instead mm -hmm. of just a playhouse or something like yeah. that. It was one of my goals going in there was to to open everything up. And cool. we got new lights, new LED lights to, oh, man. to light it. So, so it now your power thing. bill is pennies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's completely different. It's it's so nice to to have that upgrade and put forth more professional feeling shows and mm -hmm. just more professionalism in general. Well, it's been several years now that the Black Bar Playhouse, now the Murphy's Creek yeah. Theater, has gone away from sort of the melodramas and, yes. and the stuff. That yes, was the yes, old yes. Black was. Bar Players, you know, mindset. Yeah. And and community theater has its place, but it's nice to have the pros or the semi-pros yeah. here doing their thing. Yeah. What do you have coming up next for us? Our next one is Proof. Proof. Uh, Pulitzer Prize winning show by David Auburn. It's a wonderful, wonderful play about family and the ins and outs of... Um, Depression is is a is an overarching theme in the entire mm, thing, and mental okay. illness mm -hmm. as well, and and dealing with uh, mathematical proof that uh, that the one of the main characters' father did or didn't write, and and yeah. they deal with the ins and outs of that. So I remember too. We were talking mm -hmm. before we started filming the show. Uh, it, it, it's the word proof plays a lot of different roles in this show. It does. It's a it's, double you know, or triple entendre. Proof, did you know, Grandpa yeah. write it? Proof, yeah. did, did, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Yeah. So Proof, am I crazy, am I not? Proof, am yeah. I validated in who I am? And Definitely. Lots and lots of underlying tones. And, and are you appearing in this one? Are you directing? I'm not. I'm doing neither. Which You're is neither? Yeah, oh, my goodness. You get to really play get artistic to, director, do. don't it's you? It's the first time, <laughs> second time I've done it. Last year I was involved in just about every single production. Great. So who did you bring in to direct? So we have our managing director, uh, Todd Thomas, who's oh, a great. director. Okay. Um, was from here originally, then went to Portland, mm -hmm. New York, all those, and then... Uh, Came back and we has come back. Yeah, I, re uh, I remember that name from yeah. the old Murphy's Creek the old Theater, Murphy's Creek Theater, Theater under the stars. That's it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah, he he's come back and we've you know, we've had him take the helm of this, and we brought in actors from San Francisco. Oh, cool. Uh, 
and the Bay Area in general for this mm -hmm. one. My okay. goal, my goal is to keep bringing in outside talent, kind of reach those ten reach, out. Yeah, and, why not? You know, you know. And and maybe you can speak to this, especially mm -hmm. having gone to Southern California. Sierra Repertory Theater. Mm -hmm. I know that's kind of competition for you guys, but not it's, really, yeah. it, it's it's yeah. a, it, a different kind sure. of thing. Sure. It's a much bigger company yes. for sure, but. I have understood from some actors who have come to visit mm -hmm. that that they really like coming up to the mother load to Thank do a you. show. They're getting getting some coin for yep. appearing in a show. They get to stay in somebody's house. And it's almost like going on vacation, but oh, by the way, you're going to do six yeah. or seven performances Correct. a week. Correct. So, yeah. Is that kind of where you're? It's it's exactly where we're going. MCT? Yeah, it's cool. exactly where That's we're going. Great. We started with um, with Romeo and Juliet. We brought in Lindsay Pierce from mm -hmm. from L.A. She's from originally from Modesto. Was she was on Glee and. She's on Broadway. I can't say which show yet because oh. it hasn't been released. But oh, she's got okay. a lead on Broadway now. Nice. Um, so we're bringing in some some really. So top you're a step talent. stone to the great white that's way. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I said. I was going to market it that way. I was like, <laughs> the last show she did was Romeo and Juliet for us here before she wow, stepped a, up to Broadway. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's really great. I'm so proud of her. When you go to stage a show like Proof, which, mm -hmm. and forgive me if my memory's not quite remembering everything from it, mm -hmm. but this is a, a heavy drama. Yes, yes, it deals. Do you, how do you go about sort of casting something like that? Do you look for people who have just done drama, or are you maybe looking at somebody who has done comedy and now they want to take that step to drama? How do you go about casting something like this? The audition process is pretty much open call. Okay. Uh, we put we actually went to Backstage West as uh, mm -hmm. a website, which we yeah. um, actors use in L.A. and any just anywhere mm -hmm. to, to find work, and, and we weren't quite finding who we wanted oh, up here, okay. local, local talent-wise, mm -hmm. so we we put it on backstage and and uh, they came out of the woodwork. Well, yeah, so to they, speak. They, they, they did. <laughs> they they came off the the beach, so to speak, yeah. in, in San mm -hmm. Francisco. Uh, we have Lauren Taylor from from San Francisco area. Oh, cool. She's okay. done a lot of work, a lot of camera work, and we just saw mm -hmm. her uh, her film reel, and we were like, "This is this is Catherine." This oh, great! Is, she's, she's it. She's done mm -hmm. she's done a lot of work, and then um, Sarah uh, also is from the Bay, and she. Okay. Um, She's done a lot of TV and film, and also part of the old Murphy's Creek Theater back in the day. Yeah, so, and yeah. Fun little fun to bring her back and and show her the new space. And actors have that kind of extended, even extended beyond extended families, mm -hmm. don't they? They sure do. I mean, and and almost every show ends up being kind of a congealed little unit. It doesn't is. It? It, it's it's a family that and in three months that you goes away. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it really it's, does. it's the most it really short-term family it commitment is. you're it ever going to experience. Which is good for us, I guess. So it's some, in some weird way, us actors need yeah. short-term family. Is it a little bit of that, that sort of gypsy mindset? I, I want to keep my feet much, moving? It's very much that gypsy mindset. Yeah. I think we all have it, that that next thing is just beyond the horizon and mm -hmm. you have to keep pushing for it. And yeah. I thrive on it and other actors yeah. thrive on and it. And you we go from it. Murphy's Creek Theater to Broadway. So Yeah, uh, exactly. It, <laughs> exactly. So come work at Murphy's Creek Theater. What other shows are you kind of looking at staging? Or, and, and I, sorry, I mm -hmm. didn't get a chance to look at your 2020 plan. So yeah. what else is on the so, on the burner for this year? So next is the Odd Couple. Oh, great! Um, an old classic, a very uh, familiar show. Exactly. But it's one of those that doesn't get old. No, it really, really doesn't. And, and that's there's why something just, about Neil Simon that just doesn't get old. I can't stay away from the guy. I <laughs> yeah, love him. Yeah. I think he's one of the best comedy writers of our of, yeah. of, of uh, and any generation. Really, he's so good. Um, why do you think that is? He wrote real people in yeah. real situations mm -hmm. and just and just sent it up and made yeah. fun of these silly real situations that we have every yeah. day. We we did Barefoot in the Park last year and, mm -hmm. and it's so relatable because the couple is everyone's had that fight. Yeah. Everyone's had this problem. Yeah. And he makes he just sends And the nosy it up neighbor the, and the yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And and everyone's had I think that's why. I think mm -hmm. he just writes relatable characters and that's a huge goal of mine is to Whatever it is, comedy, drama, whatever, is just to have the most human characters I can I can put on a stage, and yeah. so it relates better with the audience. I think that's the kind of theater I've always been drawn to and wanted mm -hmm. to do, and so I get to yeah. implement that more. As... What do you personally enjoy more? Acting, oh, directing, artistic directing? <laughs> 
So, yeah, so act, it starts with acting, I guess, yeah. is the number one. But then mm -hmm. as a director, I get to be all the characters yeah. um, and have input. But as artistic director, I get to do the lights and sound and hire hire this designer and hire mm -hmm. and approve all the actors and directors. So it's it's kind of that stepping stone. And it's yeah. I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy the artistic director role cool. a lot more. That's I great. mean, acting is always kind of the fallback. I, I just mm -hmm. love getting lost on stage and telling stories, but but being in, in control, I guess, is... Oh. <laughs> it sounds awful, it sounds but awful, that kind of is what that it kind is. Of, it is, yeah, 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 yeah. it yeah. sounds like, well, I'm in control. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, Moving your pieces around <laughs> yeah. on the mighty chessboard. Yeah, here yeah. I go, yeah. look at that, <laughs> yeah. it's mine. Uh, but, but it's true, I do, I do get that creative um, control to, to, to put my vision forth mm -hmm. and to collaborate with other artists that, that have the same vision, hopefully, or close to, that, that we're trying to achieve. And it's just, it's, a, it's becoming a, a real blast. That's cool. Say, yeah. Now, when, how does it kind of happen for you? Let's say there's, uh, you're thinking about directing a show. Mm -hmm. Do you go out and find a show that you might bring to the company or does somebody say oh Rob you've got to read this I read this last week and it is a barn burner yeah. and how does that sort of come to be and and then get to the next step where okay I'm directing this show sure 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 so as artistic director I get to pick all the shows for the season it's mm -hmm. one of the one of the perks yeah, which is yeah. nice and I do get a lot of oh you got to do this Oh, this is the one, and I read mm -hmm. it, and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, this is great. I mean, when Don came to me last year with, with Whipping Man, mm -hmm. I read it, and I was like, we have, we have yeah. to, we have to. And I, I'm, I'm very much open to suggestions, but, but after becoming artistic director, you get flooded with, Scripts and scripts and emails yeah, and emails. Yeah. How about, much can you possibly yeah, read yeah, in a yeah. given what, weekend? Yeah, what can you do? And and yeah. I and I love it, and and I love hearing the the enthusiasm enthusiasm of some folks for mm -hmm. some shows. And I guess I've always had a a list of things that I've always wanted to do in my head. Oh, so I'm okay. I'm getting to do that yeah, <laughs> with this position, yeah. which is wonderful. And Odd Couples one and and um, Steel Magnolias is another one that I've I've oh, loved, yeah. and we're doing that one after after Odd Couple. Oh, okay. Um, I that to me is one of those great shows because it's got the comedy and the emotional and heart wrenching stuff. Yes, it's it's one of those uh, Academy Award winning scripts. You know what? It's another yeah, yeah, it's another yeah. prize winning it, it script is where that it's good. just it's that good. Yeah, and six women it, being there for each other, and yeah. it's just a wonderful. Wonderful script. Mm -hmm. I, I love it, and and um, again, one that doesn't get old. It doesn't. No, you can you can yeah. keep producing it, and people just keep yeah. keep coming. Maybe because you of change the, the brand of the hair dryer, and that's about <laughs> exactly. it. <I> mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it deals with some really yeah. heavy heavy issues, but in in the funniest way. But it, you're right, it does punch punch mm -hmm. really hard in the end. And, and I guess I should ask, what are you going to direct this year? I am only directing King Lear, which is oh, next, okay. which is after mm -hmm. Steel Magnolias. So I'm okay. doing King Lear, and wow. Don, Don Bellotti is going to play our, our King Lear. Oh, so that's it's right. Kind of a big, All right. Big step He's for him. He's probably working that up as we sure. speak. Yes, he is. Yes, He's, he is. We actually started talking about it last year and, mm -hmm. and where we wanted to go and the vision for it. And nice. Continue to have talks. And wow. We'll probably continue and to about have talks. when will that play? That's going to run September 18th through October 18th. Okay. So. And we mentioned proof and didn't talk about when it's playing, so let's let folks know that. We open Friday. 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 So it is running and from February, February 14th, is that 14th through to March 8th. To March 8th. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you guys basically do Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but we mix in a Thursday at the end, okay. uh, at the end of the run mm -hmm. for, for an encore performance, basically. You know? Okay. And as we grow and... and develop a more stable clientele I, yeah. I'd like to go to a, more, a following a following yeah um, I'd like to go to a more uh, professional schedule of like mm -hmm. six shows a week or something like yeah. that but we'll yeah. get there I'm not trying to push it and and your shows on on Friday and Saturday are at seven seven and are you doing matinees on Saturdays too we or are just not Sunday? just Sunday just okay, Sunday so matinees. Just Sunday that's matinee actually matinee one of the things we're toying with is changing to, to Saturday matinees as well and putting it on there do you are those much different audiences, the matinee audience and the, and the oh, yeah. evening audience? Yes, they are. Indeed. Yeah, we get we get um, 
and we get a little uh, se more seasoned crowd for our for our Sunday. I, you're <laughs> our you're Sunday. much more polite than I would have been, Rob. <laughs> I and I don't mean any disrespect, no, but no. I have always because I've done some community theater, and yep. we used to call it the Silver Hair Show. Yep. <laughs> And, That's and it. I, you like said I it, say, I didn't. I know so. you do, you're off the hook. Uh, but I say that actually with some respect mm -hmm. and and a little bit of uh, bleary eyed wonder because I can remember coming off stage and you're thinking they didn't get a single yeah. joke, they didn't laugh at anything, they did, and yet they walk up to you afterwards and oh my god, this was the funniest the show, show I've ever, ever seen. Yeah. And there, it's a little bit more sedate. Yeah in their reactions, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they're very appreciative. More so. appreciative. Yeah. More appreciative. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's a wonderful crowd. I actually yeah. look forward to Sundays more than anything now. Oh, great. Nowadays, yeah. Because I know the numbers are going to be there, and, and we, we have a good mix, actually, of Sunday. Um, a lot of guys who are younger that are off work or, you know, couples mm -hmm. come on a Sunday because they just want to catch an afternoon and have dinner yeah. and... So it's yeah, that's starting right. Because you can do and, the and, yeah. do the show, and then you're getting out just yeah. about dinner time. Yeah. So even a little early, so yeah. you beat the big crowd. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, which is great in Murphy's. It is great in Murphy's. <laughs> Murphy's yeah. is popping. There's yeah. no doubt about yeah. it. Now, is the um, Murphy's Creek Theater mm -hmm. going to still be used for events that aren't necessarily Murphy's Creek Theater events? Absolutely. We're um, I'm trying to implement a lot more of that. We're doing more concerts, renting out to more oh, concert cool. venues. Mm -hmm. We we're working with the Calaveras Film Commission. Uh, Commission, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a film festival this oh, year sweet. in the spring and in, oh, in, nice. in the fall, working with Martin yeah. Huberty on that. I, and, uh, Martin had told me mm -hmm. about that when I first met him. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's we, just great. Uh, part of the grant, we actually we sprung for a nice big 16 foot tall, 20 feet wide screen and oh, a cool. new digital projector and we're going to Oh sweet. We're gonna have it. So, we have a nice little setup in there. It's going to mm -hmm. be great. So. And actually hasn't the um Oh, I'm forgetting it. This Sierra Nevada Film Festival, the the wild. Oh my gosh! Sierra Nevada Adventure Company snack. Well, no, it's the. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> Ebbets Pass Forest Watch is involved oh, yeah. in staging that, yeah. and I know they've used the theater. A they few have, times, yeah. So. We actually had snack uh, for their winter film festival. Okay, some, some yeah. Snowbo mm -hmm. Snowboarding thing. They were lovely. I have yeah. them back anytime. <laughs> What is the most difficult thing operating a theater company? And I'm going to say it so you don't have to, <laughs> in the sticks. You know, because let's yeah. be honest, yeah. to an actor from Southern California, yeah. Murphy's is where? Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so, we get that. so what, do you, what are the biggest challenges you face doing this? Is foot traffic, I suppose, with, okay. with audience. Um, mm -hmm. In LA, I ran a theater company down there, a Shakespeare company down there. You get foot traffic. They, you know, you're on in North Hollywood. Someone's going to see the sign for the show. Oh, let's go see a show. Yeah. And here, there's not, there's not that not much. Quite so, that. so we've hired a, a marketing director, Misty Summers. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been incredible in turning, turning it around for us. Where, Great. Where we... We're part of every hotel um, package now, or oh, part of perfect. restaurant packages. So we're yeah. trying to reach an established um, system that works in Murphy's sure. of of wine and food and hotels, mm -hmm. and we've integrated into that to also come see your show. And I would imagine that because Murphy's is Murphy's, word of mouth helps a lot too. It's it's our biggest. It's, I think I think you have to. You have yeah, to. Yeah. Um, I think reaching out to, to places like Sierra Rep, and, mm -hmm. and I, I've known Scott for years and years. Yeah. He gave me my first professional job, actually. <laughs> so, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Was that yeah. over at Sierra, SRT? Yeah, SRT. When really? I, when I got back from New York, I got that. I got a, a fresh out of school. I got my first job at SRT. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. And that's Scott Veets, Scott the Veets. artistic yes. director over there who yep. we're speaking of, yep. just yes, so that indeed. everybody yes, knows. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I like the, the fact that it's convivial like that. Yes. I mean, yes. if you're a good actor, they will seek you out, exactly. won't they? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's one of those. Um, you just need good talent, and you want to yeah. if you want to tell the stories the way that they need to be told, and how you want to reach an audience, and you need mm -hmm. you need good performers. You need someone who knows what they're doing, and yeah, so that's and that's another reason for for venturing out to L.A. and San Francisco. And not that we don't have a great talent pool here, we do. Sure, you, you do. can't use them for yeah. every single it, show. Yeah, and, that's yeah. right. Then it's the the yeah. McGillicuddy players. Exactly. And it, oh, yeah, there's yeah. Bob there McGillicuddy is. again. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. 
as you go to plan a season, mm -hmm. do you really look to mix, you know, drama, comedy, drama, comedy, that kind of thing? Yeah. Or do you just sort of... Yes and no, yes. I think, I think I had to, again, with where we are in Murphy's, mm -hmm. there's, there's certain things that I can't, I can't do a lot of, like, maybe David Mamet. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's mm -hmm. not going to work. Yeah. So I, I, I think they respond a lot to comedies in mm -hmm. this in this area. Yeah. I think those are really good, but also heartfelt comedies. You can't just do a slapstick and hope everyone gets it or and a big hope farce or yeah. something like yeah. that. And it's door just, slammers are okay as long great. as we have an idea what's going on exactly. as the doors are slamming. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that can get very just chaotic. They're fun, don't get me wrong. I love yeah. a good farce. But I, I feel like there has to be an underlying meaning to, mm -hmm. to things. And cool. I love that sophistication of our crowd here, yeah. which is great because... Yeah. We get a lot of folks from the Bay and Sacramento mm -hmm. and, and just and Calaveras in general. They're they're sharp people, so I don't, I don't you know. So I balance it. I try to balance it yeah. um, as much as I can um, without going too edgy or crazy or yeah. <laughs> you know. When you get that, we'll call it slightly more sophisticated audience, mm -hmm. and I'm not cutting down Calaveras County, no. <laughs> you know, audience members by any stretch. But d are they surprised at the quality they get up here? Yeah. Uh, I've I've got a lot of great feedback. We started with Whipping Man last year, and I mm -hmm. think that I've only been here a year, so yeah. I can only account to my time here. Sure. I haven't really seen much beforehand. Um, Murphy's Creek has been around for 25 plus years, yeah. doing yeah. Shakespeare out at the Steve, old Stephen O. And, mm -hmm. um, that was way before my time here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, people have said to me that there has been an, a jump in quality, which is which is wonderful, and That's I think great. Whipping Man really was such a powerful play and such a, um, it resonated with so many people because we had Dwight Mayhabir as, mm -hmm. as, as the he's lead. and fantastic. And he's actually an odd couple. So Really? Yeah, he and, oh, I, are, he and I are playing Felix and Oscar. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Now, who's playing which? I, I, I'll reveal it right now. I'm playing Felix. And, oh, cool. And oh, Oscar. God. You yeah. guys are going to be fantastic gonna be in those roles. It's going to be fun, yeah. And who's directing that one? Marianne Kermey is directing oh, that one, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, whatever the opposite of those are the three strikes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we're definitely we, we in because that's going to be fantastic. I think so. Yeah, I think so we're excited for well, it. Well, Marianne Kermy and Don Bellotti, yep. they they kind of were stage three theater. Yes. I mean, at the, at the very bones of it, mm -hmm. Don Bellotti was mm -hmm. stage three theater, and uh, we were talking again just before we started filming. They brought so much quality mm -hmm. and and. I will say it, adventurous quality yes. to the mother load. Yes. And, and you were in several shows yeah. there and uh, kind of surprised audiences with, with what you could do. Mm -hmm. Are you going to kind of sneak some of that in maybe next year? I mean, we, yeah, we, I mean, I'm slowly building into that, I think, yeah. with, with Whipping Man, which mm -hmm. dealt with very serious racial issues, yeah. profanity, things like that. And we got a really good response. So I wanted to push it again with proof. Yeah. Put put it out there. I didn't want to just mm -hmm. slam them with with some really yeah. Hard, here comes another yeah, one, folks. Here comes yeah. yeah, yeah. I, um, I didn't want to do that, so mm -hmm. I'm easing into it with with these shows that are they're just incredible incredible stories, and hopefully yeah. the story overtakes some of the raciness or some of the, mm -hmm. the profanity, and and we over we just overcome that hurdle. But yes, I would love to just push the envelope. I think it's I think it's necessary in storytelling. I've always felt like the the language. When it gets heated, if you're not using the swear words, it sounds fake and it contrived. Does. Yes, I because agree. people don't talk like that. No. You know, they no. don't clean up their language when they get angry. Mm -hmm. And so I've never had a problem. Yeah. And maybe that's for my less than sensitive ears. Right. But um, you guys are always also very good at saying, "Hey, this is a PG-13 kind of a show, yeah. folks. There's a few zingers in here yeah. that you know your children might not be good with." Yeah, well, we we started that rating system last year right, with Whipping Man, just yeah. because just because it was something like, hey, there's going to be a lot of uses of of some pretty racial things. Um, yeah, just be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I think that helps. I think it comes. And it's good then when the audience goes, no, it's okay yeah. because you were telling a great story. Yeah. So and they're like, yeah. oh, we didn't even notice it was just part of the story or yeah. or, or feelings like that. So. Definitely. Yeah. We're down to our last few minutes, oh, so right. I just want to ask you something. Sure. What's your favorite role that you've performed already? Mm -hmm. And then I want to know what, what one of those roles that you're hanging out that's with in, in your pocket there that's, that's, there. that's coming yeah. up. 
I mean, Hamlet was one of those that was that was yeah. up there. Whipping Man would be a, a close second. That okay. was a pretty. pretty and why? Fun. What do what do those roles do? Because I'm going to tell yeah. you, I'm one of those people who takes the first act to understand how they're talking yeah. in Shakespeare. Yeah. It's you have to realize that everything is a metaphor. Yeah. Nothing he, is he the digs cup deep. is blue, you know. Right. <laughs> it's it's the cup is and we have blue to describe because, it. Yeah. 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 And so why does that role just dig in cuz so many actors yeah. who've gotten to play that role say this. So it changes you. It's, really? Hamlet's the ultimate human being. Yeah. He thinks every thought we've ever thought. He feels every feeling that humans have, I think, ever felt. I think Shakespeare mm -hmm. poured his heart and soul into that. And it's just one of those, you get to explore everything. Comedy, drama, wow. um, depression, happiness, joy, guilt, all of it in, mm -hmm. in a you know, in four three hour, hours, four three hours, hours three, yeah, four yeah, hours. Depending span. on whose version. Exactly, yeah, I think ours was like two and a half. Yeah. But, um, that's, I think that's what draws everyone to it. It's, yeah. it's the most terrifying role, I think, in When you're in looking at eight acting. pages and it's all you. Yeah, and it's the most yeah. lines that's, that's ever written for anything Yeah, for still. one person to retain. Yeah. And Can I, you just pop right into it at any time? I still remember almost all of it. Do I think you? you're scared yeah. into, into remembering yeah. all the seven, six or seven soliloquies. Thou shalt remember yeah. or else. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. To be or not to be, how could you not? Yeah, that's um, right. That's I could right. not remember that. It's so what's problem. one of those roles that you're holding on to? Uh, I want to do, uh, I'm, I'm a Shakespeare guy at, at oh, heart. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's what I was trained in and mm -hmm. I love it so much. Cool. Um, I got to play Romeo last year yeah. with, with Lindsay and that was, that was another stepping stone for me. Um, Macbeth. 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 Yep. I really want to play yep. Macbeth. That's still yeah. still in there. So. That's another really juicy it one. It is. It's one of the juiciest ones. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, I think that would be it. So. Do, um, do the local actors, you know, the folks that don't come out of the area, mm -hmm. um, do they drop shows, you know, in, with, with roles that maybe they want to play? Absolutely. They do. do. They, huh? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. They do. Bless their hearts. And I, yeah. I welcome it. I absolutely want to know what they want to play. And well, I'll give you one suggestion. Hit me. I, it's, it's a show that I've been bugging Scott Veets to do over okay. at SRT for years. All right. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know yeah. on Halloween you guys show the movie we and you do did. a whole big costume See, we thing. used to, and I'll, I'll actually make the announcement now. We're not doing that anymore. Not going to do that. Not going to okay. doing that. Okay. We have so much new we have stuff new, going new on. New carpet, new, yeah. we have new, just beautiful things. Oh, and, so no more toast and rice and... <laughs> toast and rice. <laughs> and, yeah, and, once we got oh, the new man. carpet, I was like, we can't <laughs> do it anymore. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. But that's, but, you're yeah. right. That's That would be a wonderful one. But it'd be a great show. Oh and gosh, I think it's something that the audience now would take hold of and say, so. hey, let's go for it. I think so, too, yeah. It's it. I'll put it in the back pocket for well, sure. Well, folks, <laughs> remember Murphy's Creek Theater. Proof opens and plays from February 14th to March 8th. And Rob Smittle, artistic director yeah. for the company, congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Thank and you. keep the good stuff coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will do. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mike Taylor. Go to the theater. <laughs>